Hello YouTubers, this is the DIY Fix Guy talking to you today about a Whirlpool dryer, 30 plus years old. I've changed belts, pulleys on this thing maybe once in the, that period of time. This video is going to show you what to do if you are not getting the flame to come on to dry your clothes. Uh, there's just no heat. Uh, the machine will run sound normal, but it's just spinning and spinning, the barrel's turning and nothing's getting done. So uh, below the door um, in the, on the face of this unit, there is a two foot wide door. Uh, pull that open and it unsnaps and then there, all you need is a screwdriver and a small tiny wrench to get the parts out. Make sure the gas valves turn off first and that the room is well ventilated. Uh, this is the thermal switch, this is the igniter right here. And uh, if you look closely at the top of the photo, you'll see a purple and a white wire. I've jumped the two together, simulating the switch uh, as being um, closed. So that's the way it is when the igniter ignites. This is the igniter. Uh, sorry, this is the thermal switch. And um, it's normally closed. So I just jumped the wires for testing purposes only. Um, the igniter is uh, hooked up. I just pulled everything out and exposed it from the machine. And um, the gas valve makes contact with this and then the flame starts, hopefully without that noise. And <laughs> nothing like sound effects and um, having fun doing this. When testing, make sure you have the settings on the dryer, um, not on the air fluff setting because you want the igniter to come on. So that's real important up on the, where the big dial is. The, that igniter will turn red only if it's set to the dry setting. Yes siree, it's a no brainer. Okay, um, going to turn this on and you'll see how this reacts when the switch does not open up to a red hot igniter. The gas valve simply will not turn on. You won't hear the click. Okay, so you go ahead and you uh, set your dial, your main dial, uh, off of the fluff, fluff position and put it to drying mode and hit the start. Uh, hit the start button and uh, sounds like a motorcycle for some reason but okay so you're going to see the things start to glow here now and what normally is supposed to happen is that thermal switch on the left will heat up and sense the heat from the from the heat there and it will click open the circuit so I just pulled off the jumper wire and then I heard the gas valve come on and now I'm going to start this with the, the wires hooked directly to the thermal switch and the igniter and um, hopefully watching it on the floor it will work the same work properly I'm not sure if it'll sense it but we'll find out just turned it on I heard it. It worked. Okay. So I just heard everything's working properly now. <laughs> okay, just reviewing. Um, this is the uh, new thermal switch. The blue and the white wire, where they connect, I had tested on the old switch continuity between those two contact points and they were closed but you can't really tell by doing that test if it's a bad switch it's got to be opening when it's hot this what the old one was not doing that so the way I tested it was run a jump wire between the blue and the white wire disconnected them in the sequence with the machine running and then you hear the gas valve um, click when the when it's disconnected because it's an open circuit 
and that's what it, the gas valve is waiting for, and it comes to flame on at that point. Okay, final results. It does fire up. It is running very quietly, as you can, may or may not be able to hear. But important when you're testing that switch to make sure you got it on the heat setting or else it may appear when you push the start button that it's uh, in the heat setting instead of just blowing air on the final shutdown. So you got to make sure your clock is turned a little bit more so that it does that. That's, that's important. So, okay, door switch works good. Shuts down motor disengages, and we're done. Hope this video is helpful.